Delete Your Drink Right Now, episode one of the Barnes Youth Edition is coming to you live now. So we're just going to go through a few bits today. We'll play one game. Um, so I'll basically go through the rules. So all these boys here, they're all getting sold. They're all getting sold. Every single one of them. They're just going to have to find a new club, lads. They're, they're not going to be a part of this team. So the only players that I can use are players that I scout through the Youth Academy. As you can see in the top left-hand corner, Dark Fruits, the manager, legend of the club, uh, scored like 500 plus goals. Easy. So the only players we can use, anyway, <laughs> besides the point, are these boys here. We've only got two that can actually be picked, which is worrying. Plus any players that we scout in the Youth Academy or we sign that have a regenerated face. The reason I went for a creator club, because I could have picked any team to be honest, just to give our own a badge, uh, ourselves a badge and um, I give ourselves a kit. Bit like that, um, bit of barnstormers, you know what I'm saying. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go straight ahead because um, I think our first game is in July, which we're not yet. We're not obviously going to have enough players by that point. So I'm going to get to the 25th, sim that game because we're not going to have enough players. Or should we forfeit it? We'll forfeit it to make it a challenge. We'll forfeit that game and then we will play the away game here on the first. Obviously get the academy reports back. And then Bish Bash Bosh, we should have uh, 11 players for that game. Otherwise, we'll be forfeiting that again. I'll show you where I've sent the scouts. Oh, that's the academy. That's not going to help anyone here. So we've got three scouts out there. We've got uh, Lucas De Jong. He's in Germany. Ben something something. He's in Algeria. And we've got... Oh, I should have picked more uh, easier said names. Uh, but he's in India. So them boys are going to be looking for anything out there. Um, but yeah, we'll start off with uh, promoting obviously the the boys we've got in the academy. This is our scout future star, Oliver Meyer. Uh, we've got Matthias Muller, and then if he eventually turns 16, uh, Itosha Fujiwara, I'm going to go with. So yeah, we'll get them boys in. We'll get a. Um, there was one player in the free agents that we can sign, D. Dot Brannon. Donald Brannon, I can just read to the right. We'll get them boys in. That's three players in the first team. And then we're eight off. So I'll see you, because I've got to do some training bits. I'll see you at the 25th, because um, I can't imagine you want to see who we've sold, to be honest, because it's not going to affect us in any way. So I'll see you at the 25th of July. Right, so we're at the 25th of July, ready for the first game of the season, which we are obviously forfeiting, because we don't have enough players. So Donald Brannan is the man we signed, 57 rated. We'll be decent enough at the moment, because we've only got three players. We've obviously got Muller and Meyer in the midfield, so he's obviously got a potential to be special. So he's basically going to be the main man for the whole of this series. Could be a club legend. Um, I don't think any of their contracts expire that soon. So we'll just jump into this. What we're going to do is going to jump in, um, and then I'll just go ahead and forfeit it. Um, you'll see me jump in and then forfeit. And we'll be on uh, zero points before we jump into... Uh, Match day two, I guess, on the 1st of August. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you at the game, I guess. So, I've just got to the game and realised you can no longer forfeit a game. Right, okay. So, the only way I can think the, it is fair is uh, make three own goals. So, let's get, exactly let's get to that. Let's just back three balls in the back of our net. And then, hopefully, the old... Uh, my goalkeeper is going to have about a two-match rating, I think. Yep. That one, boom, as you like it. There's two. I should have, I'm going to have to look at the kits and I've started from uh, the next game. Can't put that in there, son. Alright, so we're at 3 0. I don't know why you're celebrating, mate. So hopefully, you've had a spoiler by looking at the pitch as well. Uh, jump to result. We shouldn't come back. Okay, 4 2. Meyer and Brandon both, of course, they scored. Both of the boys on the score sheet, but. The most important thing was there that we lost that game because we shouldn't have won because we don't have the players. So now we jump in to the 1st of August where we get our first batch of youth players and we need eight players. Uh, so goalkeeper, otherwise we still can't play till September, which is going to absolutely ruin us. Makes it even harder then, I guess. Um, and yeah, we obviously need a seven more outfielders. So we should get it. We got, I put the five star scouts in for a reason. We should get some, so I'll see you at the 1st of August, and we'll uh, break down the youth reports. Okay, so we're at the 1st of August. 
hope you've not been waiting too long. We have got our youth squad report here. Obviously, he's still 15. He's not coming in. But this is what we're this is what we're looking for. We basically need three players from each one, and one of them to be a goalkeeper, and they all need to be 16. So we've got three in here. We have actually got three. This guy, Raja Ra Rajas Raja, 25 to 35 overall, 44 to 62 potential. Looks absolutely terrible, but we'll bring him in because we need players. Rag so we just not bother with the names. We're just going to call him RB. He's 15 anyway. He can come in. We've got Rajakumar Pankhau. Looks okay, to be fair, compared to the rest of them. Uh, up to 78 potential. So these players are just going to fill out the squad for now. We'll obviously bring him in. 150,000. Not going to be that high rated. Jagadish Bose. 33 to 45 overall. 57 to 79. Another squad player. And then Gulab Debbie. 31 to 43 overall. Potential 55 to 75. Let's bring them into the academy. Second report, this one's from Algeria. Oh, we've got a decent one here. 750,000. Ferhat Kalucci, 55 to 73 overall. 65 to 87 potential. Could be handy for us. Going to need players. Uh, Ferhat Kudi, or Kude, maybe. Overall, 35 to 49. 44 to 60 potential. Get my tongue in a twist there. 15, so we'll just bring him into the academy for now. Idris El Basir. 47 to 65 overall could be decent. 53 to 73 potential. 275 grand at this point. That means you're world class in our team. We'll bring him in. Uh, Isam Kude. I feel like I'm repeating the same number about 20 times. Uh, 34 to 46 potential. Uh, eight overall, sorry. 56 to 78 potential. Only 15. Bring him into the academy for now. Ibrahim Saeed. 39 to 55 overall. This is some ugly ratings. 49 to 67 potential. He's 17. We'll bring him into the academy. Bader Hassan is 43 to 59 overall and 63 to 87 potential. Only 15 though. Decent value compared to the rest. Going to have to hold out. Have we actually got any goalkeepers in this team? Oh, we got one. We got one. We got Oliver Meyer from Germany. 350,000 value. 53 to 69. Overall, 69 to 93 potential could be decent for us. Um, we did have a 16 year old Samuel Mooring. Mooring? Mooring? I'm not sure. 52 to 70 overall, which is decent. 65 to 89, which is also decent in potential. 600,000 value. We will take that any day of the week. Thank you very much for coming. Philip Fuchs, 41 to 55 overall. And 57 to 77 potential. 15 years old. Welcome to the academy. And Johan Schumacher, 43 to 59, 53 to 71, 15 years old. So welcome to the academy. So now that's done, let's go have a look at our team. So we needed eight players. How many we got over the age of 15? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dead on. So it's going to be a, uh, a tough run in. But the eight you see here are going to be playing for us week in, week out. Colucci, 61 rated. Not too bad. Keeper, 56. It's okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring all these boys into the academy. And uh, we'll get stuck in and try and uh, battle, shall we say, in the first game. See you in a mo. Right, okay then, lads. Here we go. We have got a battle on our hands. That is our team. It could be improved. It could be improved, I'm not going to lie. Although we've got a decent midfield. Mowing and Meyer, they could be pivotal for us this year. Our defence is much to be decided. Uh, much to be, I don't even know the word. Whatever it is, whatever it means. We've got Raja at left back. And uh, yeah, I don't really see him playing football as a career, to be honest. 34 rated after the drop. Clucci's a centre forward. I need to change that quickly before we get into the game. I'm going to make him a centre forward so he doesn't get that minus five. But apart from that, yeah, let's, um, we'll jump, I'll do that now and then we'll uh, jump into the game. Well, here we go then. Furhat Kluchi, a debut to remember. I feel like that's the same for all 11 of them, to be honest. Um, not really sure why he's been picked up. Maybe because he might get us a goal. Um, we'll have to find out, won't we, boys? Let's skip all this rubbish. Do we need to see him coming out? I don't even think we're at home, are we? Keep forgetting this is also our second game of the season. Derek Ray and obviously Stuart Robson. 
now the uh, commentators on the game. Let's uh, let's get this rubbish. Let's just get straight into some football, and uh, yeah, let's let's get this underway. I'm actually quite confident that we will, will not get beat by ten. So uh, anything less than ten, we'll, we'll take that from here. Here's El Basir now. Finds Meyer. If anything, if we're going to score today, it's going to come through him as he loses the ball. Brilliant start there, boys. This is going to be a long afternoon or a long couple of months until until we get our feet on the ground. I've committed him way too early. That's one nil. There we go. Took six minutes, boys. Six minutes, and we've been opened up like a tin of beans. Oh, it's taken me longer to open the dark route sometimes than it has a. Uh, them to score a goal. It's just too easy. Look at that. It just see you like, mate. That's our right back. That's like our best rated defender. Just getting spun in like that. Not good enough, lads. Says the Northern Dark Fruit manager. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna have to bounce back. It's so uh, it's one nil inside six minutes. Komilansky with the goal. We'll bounce back. Hopefully. I'll say this till the end of time. If we well, do not lose by 10 in this month, then that is a positive. Although we could be sacked. If we do lose by 10, can we find anyone? No. Nope. We're, uh, we'll, we'll definitely be able to apply the pressure. We can't afford any injuries this month. Not unless uh, one of the boys turn 16. We get a suspension, then we've got a uh, full fit some games. Well, not full fit, but you know what I mean. Go three nil down and sim it. That I've just thought about that. We would have uh, won that game two one. Although I think now maybe it will change because yeah, our defence is a joke. I'm not even sure it can be considered a defence. There's no defending going on. I would love to see what the match ratings will be after this game because I think we're going to absolutely get battered here, but. The boys, we're in good spirit, apart from me maybe. The boys are in good spirit. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep cracking away at this. And here they come again. This is what, I mean, I'm not good at defending on the game as it is. That's 2-0. I'm not good at defending on the game as it is. And it doesn't help when your defence is uh, getting turned inside out. Like that. This could be a uh, long, long game. Long, long game. 2-0, boys. If we can just cr try and create something going forward. We might not be uh, that screwed <laughs> this season. The aim this season is literally just get 10 points, maybe. This season's just about building a squad. We don't want to get battered every game. We'd like to get to a point, maybe in January, where we've got, we know our 11 inside out, and we're just more trying to look for depth. You have to imagine that only two or three of these players will be playing come. October, November time, so we're going to have a big overhaul squad. We've already moved on quite a few players. Uh, this is just terrible defending. This could be 3 0 in a second. What we did lack in that scout report was some bloody centre backs. I think mean, we've got one defender out of the whole thing, and it was a right wing back. So even he's, done, even he's like, yeah, I, can, I can defend. Don't want to, though. Here we go, though. Actually, I might give extended highlights for this game. Usually, I'd do a quite quick game, but with only one game for this episode, feels a little bit bad, I guess. Can Mo Ring pull Sang off here? We'll have a go. Why not? Oh, a lucky son. I mean, he's 16 years old and he's got grey hair, so maybe we need to get the passports out, boys. Have a look. Have a look at these ages, because I, I don't think he's 17 or 16, whatever one he is. And uh, we, yeah, we're losing to that. We've actually had 60% of the ball. The problem is, I think I think 59% of it has been the goalkeeper picking the ball out the back of the net and refusing to play on. Damage limitation, boys, isn't it? Oh, you know what, Mo Ring, he's 60 rated. And I'm butchering his name, probably, because I guarantee it ain't Mo Ring. And uh, he's just been awful. Probably not a lesson. Oh, I thought I'd committed a murder there. Here's Saeed. He's got a bit of pace on him. Well, compared to that receding hairline guy. Oh, he's run out of play. He's run it out of play. I'm already getting annoyed. This is only the first game. This is not going to be a fun season for my health. Just want to get into half time. To be fair, they're running out of play too. I was going to say that because I've played a bit of this. 
the uh, the running it, it feels a bit weird. I can't lie. Maybe it gets better with the better players you have, but um, yeah, it feels a bit dodgy. And for anyone asking why I chose uh, Division Three in the German league, just thought I'd mix it up. Too many people are going to do League Two clubs um, and stuff like that. Oh, it's gone all the way back. It's half time. I mean, this is why I said don't lose 10 0. So 9 0 was sort of the target. 2 0, I guess, ain't a bad reflection on that. What are we saying in terms of uh, the stats wise? Have we, have we had a good a good half? No, no way. No, this game's broke. This guy's been awful all game. How's he averaging a 7.2? No one's doing that badly, to be fair. But then their team, I mean. I mean, they both scored a goal, I guess, so that's probably why they've blasted up in the ratings. I can't make no subs either, so I guess that's one benefit of playing in the German League. There's only, like, 36 or 38 games. Like, it's like the Premier League. There's, like, never midweek games. And obviously, because you don't have... You have the uh, German Cup, but I think that's the only competition we enter. I believe, I mean, unless we go on a mad one. and I don't think you can get... Oh, that's 2-0. Oh, uh, 3-0 even. But it is still 2-0. I've got that right, technically. I was also getting confused. In the... Uh, you might have just seen it just down there. I think I'm just going to do a live game for this. I don't... I might skip out a few bits. Like, if I've had to pause it because something's happened. You know, still living with people. Still get shouted at. So, uh, we'll uh, skip them bits out. But apart from that, I might just leave the whole game in there. Just for this game. Just for this episode. If you can hear, like, I sound like I've got a blocked nose. Yeah, I've not been well. Before anyone uh, takes the piss. And options in the center. That is a shocking ball, but we'll take the header. I'll tell you what, considering... I mean, I don't know what the level of opposition is like in this league. Oh, I checked our objectives. It's not that I'm really too fussed about it because I know it's going to be a year of rebuilding. It is just to finish to avoid the bottom part of the league. So, if we can finish outside the bottom five, and I think, like, we could be bottom uh, come January and we'd still get out of that. I think then we'd start to have a few. I mean, this Maya bloke. I don't think he'd done himself justice if that was him. That was Miller. Uh, Maya is um, Maya's going to be 70 sooner rather than later. I think he's already turned 66 rated. So you'd imagine just constantly playing first team football. He's going to go up in the ratings. Oh, this could be dangerous. This is going to be dangerous. It's 3 0. We really are. Defensively, we're going to concede handfuls of goals every single game. And there's nothing I can do about it. I don't even want to watch well, goal a celebrations and goal highlights. It's bad enough having to coach these boys so on a, uh, the game, at the game. It's just been awful. Awful, st awful start for us. The fact we scored two goals in the last game was quite funny. Here's Raja, who is our worst rated player at like 30-something like. And he's playing that position as well. I'm, I'm, I think he's a centre midfielder, but I've just got so many centre forwards and centre mids. They can't all fit in the, the, the team in their position. So we've got four centre forwards and we've got three centre midfielders. And we've got no centre backs or left backs. So that, that's something. When the scouts come back after their final month, which is in October, we will like sort of then start refining it down to what we're actually looking for but at the moment the priority is literally just to get any human body in the door I, I, like, if this if we had like trial ads out for this football team it wouldn't even say the word football it would be like can you breathe yes okay come join the club oh and actually there is one more requirement are you over 15 because otherwise you've got to sit in the academy for ages I just can't can't get hold of the ball. We've made 68 passes. We've got a good pass accuracy, but to be honest, if you make five yard passes sideways and backways, it's uh it's not hard to get that kind of uh standard. Here they come again. That's gonna be a corner to them. We've only got ten minutes left to be fair. My throat's getting dry, I need a bottle of water as well. Because I'm not feeling well at all. Not a good uh, good start, is it, for your first episode? Not feeling well. Battered 3 0 on the open day and you only have eleven players. And only one of them is a defender, and even he can't defend that well. We'll try and get that up here. We'll try and work something here with Mo and 
or mooring. I'm not sure what you aim is, mate. But just do something for me here. Inside. Who's going to be our first goal scorer? Because none of them, I'm not counting any of them, uh, any of the stats from the first game. So the three lads that played, and there's obviously the two of them that scored. Don't count in the stats. We'll take that. We'll take that off of you. Come on, lads. Let's get an, uh, let's get what, just one goal for, for me. He's going to lose it at some point. Fucking knew it. <sighs> right, now we've got to try and work our way back. Actually done a good tackle there. We can, can we nip that off him at half by? No, still there ball. We'll take that one. Oh, side mate, you are giving the ball away. More than a chip shot, but I don't even know what that means. But it just, it makes sense in my head. No, do not concede a full far fake, but he's blew up full time. We basically just got battered against Brunswick there. Uh, three goals to nil. Um, don't really know what to say, to be honest. Uh, who was our man of match? I think Pankow comes away with a rating of a 6.4. Oh no, he doesn't even do that anymore. Uh, Maureen got a 6.9. I don't know how. Let's have a look. I mean, I guess he had one of the two shots we actually had, so... Yeah, on to the next one, I'd say. Uh, we'll look at the league table and then we'll uh, leave it there for today. Right, so there we go. We are 19th. We're actually 19th in the league because SVWW, whatever that even means, have uh, dropped to the bottom. So, yeah, we have 38 games. Um, who do we have in the next episode? So, going forward, it'll be three games an episode. So, we've got uh, F we've got Kaiser Slaughter first. Then we've got... Uh, you're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try and work out Halish. I'm gonna Google translate these names before we go back to the next episode. Kalishka, Kalish, yeah, whoever they are. We've got them next, uh, second game, and then we've got uh, Zwicka, Zwickau, Zwickau, yeah, Zwickau. We'll say that. And then we've got them on the 24th of August, and then I believe, yeah, one more game in that month against SVW who are World Health and then we'll be having a uh, academy report well we'll just check to see if we've got any bench players we have got a 16 year old in there Mr. Philip Fuchs so we'll bring him into the academy and he'll be available for the next game just means we've got a sub now we ain't got to worry about dicking about at the, um, and having players absolutely knackered so yeah we'll leave it there I will see you in the next one stay safe peace